Hey guys, in today's video I'd like to show you a very cool demonstration using this half inch or 12.7 millimeter solid aluminum rod. Not too long ago I uploaded a video showing a very interesting element, it's called gallium, and in that video I compared the gallium to mercury. Mercury is a liquid metal and gallium, depending on the temperature, can also be in the liquid state. In that video I compared the level of conductivity between gallium and mercury. Even though gallium is considered non-toxic, it is highly corrosive to aluminum and many other metals. The most corrosive one would be aluminum and the one next in line would be zinc. Once I place the gallium on the rod, I'll place it right in the center, it's going to start corroding or attacking the aluminum in a matter of minutes. Within about 15 minutes, I'll be able to touch that gallium and you're going to see that it starts to flow into the surface of the aluminum just like when you apply solder to brass or copper. It flows very nicely in as long as there's heat applied with flux. This looks almost identical when the gallium has had time to sit on the aluminum surface for more than a few minutes. This video will demonstrate why you should never ever place gallium on any piece of aluminum especially one used for structural purposes. I'm going to start by applying some gallium right over here. Let me tap it off. It will come off. There it goes. Okay. You can see it's not flowing. It's kind of dragging over the surface. See, I can pull it around. All right, I'm moving it around. Let that sit for a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to show you what it starts to do. Let me add a little bit more on there. Let me tap it so it falls off. That's good. All right. Okay. Let me leave that on the surface for a few minutes, and then you'll see it start to attack the aluminum because it will start to flow in rather than drag off of the surface like you see here. The aluminum rod was cleaned using 400 grit sandpaper just before applying the gallium. Ten minutes has passed. Let's see if the gallium has begun to react with the surface of the aluminum. Yep, there it goes. It's starting. You see it flowing nicely? It's flowing very, very nicely. What I'm going to do now is apply a little more gallium on the opposite side of this drop because I'd like to have this area just make a band around the center of the rod. About only that wide, but a band. And I want to have the back side and the top connect. Once they connect, I'm going to allow it to sit for two full days and then we're going to take a look at the rod. This is what it looks like when the gallium is coated in a band around the center of the aluminum rod. At the other end, I apply just a little bit in that one spot and I'm going to leave it alone. Let's wait two to three days, come back and see what effect it had. Okay, this is one day later. I just wanted to give you an update. You can see the area which I applied the gallium around that central location. And if you look, you can see it actually transferred through the entire surface. You can see there's an effect or a change that took place. And it ended right here so far. You can see it's a little darker to the left and lighter to the right. You can see it. So this actually permeated this entire rod or penetrated this entire rod up until this part right here. The same on the opposite side. You can see it looks rough the surface and it makes it all the way to here where you can see the shiny aluminum is between that point and this point. Nothing made it to here yet, but it did make it from here at least five inches over from that spot. And the interesting thing is, let me turn this around and show you the other spot where I only did it in the one location, right here. And that became very flat, like it soaked into the metal. And the funny thing is, I didn't even have to put anything on the opposite side. 
because it affected the entire rod. So there was no need to put gallium here as well. It just soaks all the way in. So the entire end of that rod, from my finger here to the end, which is about 5 inches, has been affected by the gallium. We're going to wait another day or two and take a look again to see how much more the gallium has affected the aluminum. Okay, two full days has passed by since I applied the gallium to the rod. Here's a closer look. You can see it has a little bit of a rough surface to it. And it's moving down the rod further and further towards this end right here. And let's go back the other direction. So you got that. Keep going this way. And you can see the space now is very small here. This side is closing in with this side. It's getting very, very narrow right there. Let's take a look at the gallium right over here that I placed. Right over here is where the bead of gallium was applied. And you can see it pretty much soaked into the entire rod. It was just like a layer of crust on top. The gallium is gone, which can only mean the gallium penetrated into the aluminum, and that's why we see the discoloration all over the rod. We're going to wait another 24 hours. That'll be three full days. We'll take a close-up look at the entire rod once again, and then I'm going to show you how easily this rod will break. Okay, three full days has now passed since I applied the gallium to the aluminum rod. Let's take a closer look. Okay, the corrosion pretty much stayed about the same. It did extend a little further this way, right over here, ended right there. So over here is strong aluminum, and over here is where the aluminum has been affected by the gallium. Let's take a look at the center again. And a little further this way. Over here is just a small space now, about 5 eighths of an inch, between the single drop of gallium and where I put the gallium around the entire center. And as you can see, all the way around is corroded. Now I'd like to do a test to see how much the strength of this half inch rod has been affected. Keep in mind, different alloys of aluminum will react differently to the gallium. Right over here is where that band was. And all it's doing is just wiping away the gallium on the surface and smearing it around. Let's try a different spot. That's it. All right, let's give it a try, see if we can break this. Okay, before I attempt to break the rod, I just wanted to show you at a distance while it's sitting on these barbells that it is the exact same rod. You can see the space where the end was with the gallium. Here's where the gallium was around the center, and you can see where they were coming together. You can also see at this end where it did not affect anything. Now I'm going to zoom in to this area here and attempt to break the rod. Let me rotate the rod around first to prove to you there's no cuts. All right. Now I'm going to keep the camera rolling and I'm going to break the rod right here using this tape measure. Here we go. Is that incredible? Never in a million years would a tape measure like this be able to break a half inch aluminum rod unless it was damaged by gallium. Look at how brittle this is. It's absolutely incredible. Look at the inside, how grainy it got. Put them all together for you like this. They are no longer that shiny aluminum color and you can see it's very, very grainy and extremely, extremely brittle. The entire aluminum rod soaked up all that gallium 
with the exception of the last five inches. And who knows, if I waited a few more days, this edge here where you can see where it ended with the corrosion may have made its way all the way to the end. Over here, you can see where I cut into it, and it's actually white powder. And the very end here was unaffected. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.